Greetings. This week we've been talking about strange doctrines and emphasizing the need for us to hear the ministry of the Word, the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God that is the way the Bible tells us it should be done and to avoid receiving various and strange doctrines because they could be harmful for the soul. They could be destructive to our lives. And so over the week, we've established several different criteria by which we can evaluate whether what we're hearing is good, the way the Word of God should be ministered. The last criteria I want to place before us is supernatural demonstrations. God always intended that those ministering His Word do it not by their own abilities, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. And God always intended that His Word be accompanied with demonstrations of power, with signs, wonders, miracles, healings, the transformation of lives, the breaking of bondages, the release of miracles. God always intended that, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul, writing in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4, said, verses 4 and 5 says, And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So Paul, who was a highly learned man, a highly skilled man, he said, when I came preaching and teaching, I came not depending on my own abilities, human wisdom, but I came in the, to, with a demonstration of the Spirit and power. So that God, the faith of the people should be in the power of God, not in man's abilities. And that's the same today. Now, some may argue that we don't need supernatural demonstrations, but it's all in the Word. A simple example, 1 Corinthians 4.20 says, The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. Are we part of the kingdom? Are we to pray, Thy kingdom come? Well, if the kingdom is in effect, then this verse is true. The kingdom of God is not in word, not just in word, but it comes with power, with a demonstration of the Spirit of God. And it is true. We are part of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is at work in our lives and being extended through our lives. We do pray thy kingdom come. And so therefore, the kingdom is not just in word, but in power. So wherever we proclaim the kingdom, wherever we proclaim the word of the kingdom and teach people, we must expect the supernatural demonstrations of the power of God. So this would be another important criteria. Is the preaching, the teaching of the word of God being done with expectation of the supernatural power of God to be manifested in the lives of people, to heal, to deliver, to transform, to work miracles, so that the word is not just sermons we hear, but it's, it's what God confirms and makes a reality in our lives. So, what have you been listening to? Are you sure that they are sound, wholesome, Jesus-focused, cross-centered? Are they changing you, transforming you to become more like Christ? Feed yourself with the Word of God so that you and I can grow into Christ-likeness. Let's pray. So, Father, we ask that you give us discerning ears to hear things that will build us up and draw us closer to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.